In today's video, we are making a delicious one pot pasta banging with flavor. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today we are making a creamy chicken, lemon, garlic, one pot pasta with some bow tie. It is gonna be incredible, and all we gotta do is go over the ingredients that we got right here. Let's go. All right, you're gonna need boneless, skinless chicken breast, optional red chili pepper, garlic, a yellow onion, lemon, of course, garlic powder, onion powder, Powder, some Parmesan cheese. Don't buy the bag stuff. Get yourself a block. Unsalted butter. Italian parsley. Baby Bella mushrooms. Heavy whipping cream. Pasta of your choice. I'm using bow tie because I'm fancy. Chicken stock. Avocado oil. And a last minute decision to use some sweet peas. All right, so as you can see, we've got our ingredients that are all prepped out. We've got our one pot, AKA one pot pasta. And we're gonna start by turning this on to a nice medium heat because we're gonna go ahead and sear our chicken up first. So the one thing that we're gonna do before we pop the chicken in. We're gonna throw some neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil right now. We're just gonna throw a couple tablespoons in there. That way we make sure it's nice and greased up. But we're gonna wait until that heats up. All right, so what I've got here is boneless, skinless chicken breast that I cubed up. And then I hit it with a couple tablespoons of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And all we're gonna do is when this is nice and heated up, we're just gonna go ahead and pop that chicken in, just like so. And then we're gonna make sure it covers the bottom of this pot. So go ahead and spread it out, break it up. I'm gonna step over here so you guys can hear me, but we're just gonna let that cook on one side for about two minutes and then we'll flip them, move them around. That way we can get it cooked on all sides. It should only take about five or six minutes total. All right, so right now I'm just flipping all this chicken over. It's been about a minute and a half, two minutes. As you can see, it is nice and brown like we got right here. So we're just gonna continue to flip these over so they get cooked. All right, so just to verify that your chicken is cooked, we're gonna find the thickest piece. He look nice and thick. We're gonna pop it in and see if we hit 165. We are well over, so that means that all of this chicken is done. We can go ahead and just scoop it out into a separate bowl. All right, once we got our chicken out, we let our pot cool down for a minute or two. We put it on a medium heat, and then we're going in with a couple pads of butter, about two tablespoons worth. Then I'm going in with my chilies that I thinly sliced up. Next, I'm going in with one yellow onion that I finely chopped. All right, and now we're just gonna mix this together and let it saute until the onions are nice and translucent and aromatic. Next, I've got two full caps of portobello mushrooms that I thinly sliced up. We're gonna let those saute down until they get soft as well. Next, we got garlic. We just took about four cloves. We went ahead and thinly chopped them up, a nice fine mince. And now we're gonna go into our veggies until they're nice and aromatic. We're only gonna give this about 45 seconds to a minute. We do not want this to burn. All right, next we got three cups of chicken stock. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pour that in here. What we wanna do before we put our pasta in is we just wanna go along the bottom of that pan and scrape all that fond off from the chicken and vegetables because that is gonna add a ton of flavor into this sauce. All right, fun fact, if I have to dress up and I'm going out, I'm wearing a bow tie over a regular tie every single time. Speaking of bow ties, that's the pasta that we have and we're going over here and we're gonna do about eight ounces of this. This is 12 ounces, so about three quarters of this box. We wanna turn this heat up so we can get this into a nice simmer, right? So here we go, we'll go about three quarters of that box. That looks good to me, it's about eight ounces. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this so they're all fully covered in that sauce. And then we're going to bring this to a nice boil. So I got this on like a medium high heat, bringing it up. All right, as you can see, we got this up to a nice boil. Now what we're gonna do at this point, it's gonna be a little different than anything that we've done here before. We're gonna leave the top off and we're gonna let this reduce. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make the flavor of that chicken stock more concentrated it's gonna thicken up. So we're gonna give this about 10 minutes until the pasta's done, and then we'll go in with our heavy cream and the rest of our ingredients. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Check this out real quick. If we look in here, we can see that all of that stock is basically reduced down. Our noodles are nice and al dente, and now we're gonna go in with half a cup of heavy cream, okay? So that's gonna give us that creaminess that we like. But on top of that, hold up, look over here. What do we have? Bum -ba -da. We have got some fresh Parmesan cheese that we got off a beautiful Parmesan block. Look at that rind. And then we finally grated it. Now we're gonna take that Parmesan and go straight in. And on top of that, we want this to have a lemon vibe to it. So I cut a lemon in half and then I squeezed both ends and now I've got the juice of that lemon and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour most of that in. If we want the rest, we can do that later. We also took the rind of a lemon and on a microplane, we zested that up and now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that zest in there. We're gonna turn this on low and give this a nice mix. We got the chicken too. So chicken's going in with some of that chicken juice and 
now we're just gonna go ahead and mix this all up. And then just to top this off, while it reduces down and thickens up a little bit more while that cheese melts, I took some peas and then all I did was run those frozen peas under some water. I let them defrost, dump that water out. No, I didn't take a sip. We popped those peas in there as well. Again, we got this on a nice low heat and we're gonna wait until this thickens up and comes together beautifully. Now you might be like, what's that? All I did was take a little bunch of parsley. I rolled it up tight and then I hit it with a nice fine chop, a very fine chop. That way, again, we could sprinkle half of this in here while this is still reducing down a little bit and thickening up, cooking those noodles just a tad bit more, but just go ahead and mix. Now me personally, I'm a Parmesan fiend. I did about a third cup earlier when I finally shredded it, but um, I'm gonna add more in here, honestly, because I would like this to be a little more cheesy while this is reducing, so I'm just gonna add about another quarter to half a cup of fresh parm. All right, now we need a taste for salt. Obviously, if it needs salt, we can add some. If it's good, we're good. That is so damn good. Does need a little bit of salt though. So I'm gonna go in, just add a nice little pinch of salt, pinch and a half. And then I'll just add a little bit more black cracked pepper to that, just to add a little bit of that spice. And then beautiful, we just go ahead and mix all that up. Look at that creamy, beautiful pasta right there. Look how great that looks. Oh, just scoop from the bottom. Look at that. Oh my God, that is amazing. It smells incredible. It tastes incredible. At this point, all we need to do is toss it into a plate. We're gonna finish it off with some parsley. You'll see it in the beer roll. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is taste test time, and we're gonna redo our star scale. We're gonna break it down into three categories. We're gonna do flavor, texture, and presentation. Right off rip, we can rate the presentation. I think that this is like a four and a half. It could be a little bit better. Now we're gonna go in for the actual taste test to judge that flavor and texture in three, two, one. Wow, the lemon is perfect. The garlic is perfect. When it comes to the flavor, I can't ask for anything more. That's five on the flavor and the texture, I'm giving it a 4.8. The reason why the noodles are perfect, the veggies are perfect, that chicken is just a little overcooked. And that's just me being honest with y'all. So I think what that results in is a total of a 4.6 on the star scale, but good Lord, you need to make this, especially for one pot. It was so damn easy. This is how I'm feeling right now. That's how this pasta makes me feel. You scoop from the bottom, you get that creamy chicken, those noodles. I'm speechless. It's amazing. It's one pot. It took like, I don't know, 30 minutes. It's incredible. Please make this at home. Also, if you're still watching, please scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below. You know I'm always talking down there with y'all. I'm like, hey, yo, what up? Anyway, my name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. This is a one pot creamy garlic lemon chicken pasta. You will thank me later. We out.